Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be exploring the city of Quebec. This is our first time here and we're going to be sharing with you what $100 gets you in Quebec City. Quebec City, Canada is one of the oldest European and French settlements in North America. We'll be visiting some of the most common attractions while here and show you the best things you can see, eat, Oh my gosh, this is so good. And do for under $100 while visiting what we think is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. We're Brian and Crystal, and this is Van Hala Adventures. Quebec has an amazing tourism board. They have an incredible website filled with all sorts of information, which I'll link below. And they had a bunch of recommendations for restaurants. And we're gonna check out one of them right now. Okay, uh, this way. <laughs> <laughs> I already love this city. Oui, oui. Nice meal. There's just a cool place. Pretty satisfied with that. However, I heard there's maple taffy and neither of us have ever tried maple taffy before. So, I think it's a must. I think it's this way. <laughs> Old Quebec is such a beautiful area that you could wander the streets for hours and it wouldn't cost you a thing. Strolling through the cobbled stone streets of Place Royale, you'll find murals and small mom and pop shops, along with the Notre Dame de Quebec Basilica Cathedral, which is the oldest stone church in North America. When it's open, you can visit for free. However, it was closed during our visit. Continuing on, you'll enter Rue du Petit Champlain, one of the oldest shopping streets in North America, which is flanked by boutiques, artesian shops, and restaurants. Well, you could spend a lot of money shopping here on Petit Champlain. It is free to walk, and I think it's actually probably one of the better things to do in Old Quebec from all the research we've done. This is just so nice just to be able to come here and just walk and look at everything, and it's free, so. Wow, this place is so cool. It's like being in Europe. It's not just that this whole entire city, and especially in the old Quebec area, is cute. They all decorate their doors, and it's ah, so adorable. So they have this thing called maple taffy, taffy, taffy. taffy. These have like it's like uh, I think it's like maple syrup, and they put it on a stick and they cold. They put it on a stone. I don't really know, but it's supposed to be amazing. <laughs> we'll figure it out. There you go. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Wow. It's a bit messy. I'm having a little drip problem here. Oh my god. Yeah. This is just pure maple syrup. What? Mm. Well worth it. So good. We are riding on the funicular, and the guy that works here said that it is a French word, so there's no real English translation, but it's kind of like a mini tram, and it's taking us from lower old Quebec to upper old Quebec. <laughs> and so it seemed like a cool thing to do, and it was only $4 each Canadian. So that ride was only maybe a minute, but it saves you from walking up these steep stairs, which actually we could have used the walk after all that sugar, but we'll walk down. This is beautiful. For over a century, the Fairmont Le Chateau Frontenac has perched atop Cape Diamond, overlooking Dufferin Terrace, Lower Old Quebec, and the St. Lawrence River. 
built in 1893, it is the oldest hotel in Canada and the most photographed hotel in the entire world. This place is massive. A stunning Victorian architecture, opulent design, and luxury furniture choices bring you back to a different time period as you step inside. Consisting of 18 floors, 610 rooms and suites, and three restaurants, the place feels enormous. You can enjoy an award-winning glass of wine at their wine and cheese bar on the lower floor and continue on to the museum, which is filled with artifacts going back 400 years. To learn more about this legendary castle, you can also take a guided tour for only $17. <laughs> it's freezing now. I couldn't think of a better thing to do than go ice skating. What do you think? Ah, uh, yeah. I can tell Brian <laughs> is really nervous to go ice skating. He's never even rollerbladed in his life. And so I hope he's going to do it. He was trying to get out of it. You ready to put these skates on? No. <laughs> I'm terrified. You're gonna do great, B. I I didn't even know how to walk with them on. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> It's gonna be awesome. How are you feeling about this, B? Uh, not good at all. I should probably get a helmet, right? Oh, for sure. Safety first. So good. You're doing great. Mm. You got this, B. Right. Show him what you're working with. All right, here we go. Ready to do a backflip? <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> Slow and steady, babe. You don't have to glide like a ballerina. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just glide away. I cannot wait to show this to the internet. <laughs> Am I doing okay? Your parents are gonna be so proud. I love this almost too much. You're getting some speed. You no, know, I didn't fall. You know, did it make any enemies? <laughs> We're all still friends. B, what'd you think? Was it worth it? It was, yeah, it was fun. I'm a little sore from all the stress. <laughs> you were stressed out. I was holding on for dear life. <laughs> but it was 100% free, except if you want to rent skates, which is only $9. But 100%, the amusement of watching him was priceless. expensive for a hotel. We got this room for only $88 and that was 88 US dollars. And it's pretty sweet. Like we have a nice little sitting area over here. And then of course we have a bed, obviously. Nice little work table. There's also a mini fridge in here, which is pretty cool. And then just these tall ceilings, which is so nice and hardwood floors. This bathroom is huge. It's so nice. Jetted bathtub. What? This is great. Under a hundred bucks for the stay. Pretty chill.
This morning we decided to get on the ferry. Actually a local told us about this and this ferry goes from Old Town Quebec in the port over to Levis on the other side and we're not really gonna hang out in Levis but it's really just to get a view of the entire city. It's supposed to be spectacular and this was just a little over five dollars a person US. So it seemed like it was worth it. I actually already feel like we're on the Titanic. <laughs> This definitely has a gorgeous view of Chateau Fratina from yesterday. You can see how big it really is. It's just a quick, like, I don't know, 15 minute ferry ride. But uh, if you want to just do a quick round trip, you have to actually disembark the, the ferry and then just get right back on. And you're good to go. And here we go again. <laughs> It has started to snow and it is officially cold, but I feel like it's bracing us for what is about to come next this afternoon because we are going to the ice hotel. Before that, we have a couple more stops. That's really good. Yes, what a great place. Family run, 25 years. You got the kids inside making coffee. They roast their special blends here. It's a must stop here when you're in old Quebec City. Yeah. All right, let's go get some crepes. Yeah. I'm pretty excited to try this out, eh? I went with the sweet crepe approach. I got apples, bananas, and strawberries with some maple syrup, and I might put a little whipped cream on there. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. with the savory crepe approach. And they have gluten-free buckwheat crepes too, which is pretty badass. Okay, the next stop on our journey is pretty unique. It's Hotel de Glace. It is the only ice hotel in all of North America. Let's go check it out. The hotel has everything from an ice restaurant to an ice bar to an ice chapel. And looking around, you get a deep appreciation for all the work the artists have done to create this masterpiece. Every room has a different theme that correlates with the overarching theme for the year. This year's theme was nightlife. Anything that comes to you in your dreams or even in your nightmares. This is the Frankenstein room. It's <laughs> freaking me out. While you can brave the cold and stay in the hotel, there is an option to get a day pass for 29 Canadian dollars, which is about 21 US dollars. We gotta check more of this place out. Yeah. It's huge. This is the biggest they've ever built in 2023, and it's 46,000 square feet. They say you can literally get lost in here. <laughs> Let's get lost. Let's get lost. <laughs> there is a fire at the ice hotel. What? Tell me a little bit, like, how long does this take to create? It takes about six weeks. We have 22 artists. They're from around the world. We are the only one in uh, America. We wow. have many international guests here. We have 30 rooms. 30? Yeah, this year. Oh, wow. And 22 thematic suites. 
Veal tail, it's about minus five to minus eight Celsius degrees. This year we opened on January 4th and the last day is on the March 19th. I'm just so amazed by this whole this whole situation. I was thinking in my head when you hear Isotel that it would just be square blocks. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a piece of, of hard work. Yeah, I appreciate this. This is so cool. Thank you so much You're for welcome. having us. Yes. Cheers. Oh, wow. It's nice Ooh. and cold. <laughs> it's really cold. After that beautiful tour. I am so hungry. What about you, B? I'm cold, I'm hungry, and I want to go eat. We're almost on the verge of hangry. Right across from the Chateau Frontenac oh. is the Chic Shack. <laughs> Apparently they have burgers and poutine. I'm so hungry. Good. Okay, the last stop on our journey here in Quebec is the Strom Spa. For all the spas we visited in the world, this is probably our favorite. It has outdoor whirlpools. Man, this place is so nice. Hot and cold baths. I do love cold plunges. An infinity swimming pool right over the river. Finnish saunas, eucalyptus steam baths, thermal and Nordic waterfalls, indoor and outdoor relaxation areas with fireplaces, and a bistro. We felt that the price point of $59 Canadian, which converts to about $43 US, was well worth it. That was so awesome. That was amazing. I feel like, I don't know, 20 years younger. <laughs> I feel great. That was the perfect way to wrap up this vacation. If there was one thing I was gonna do in Quebec, I think this would be it. Yeah. I recommend it, definitely come here. <laughs> we hope you all enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We'll see you next week, guys. See ya. Bye.